There was a couple of different reveals that happened that just like gutted me and I was like, ugh, I hate this. Hey, it's Kristen. I'm talking about Promising Young Woman. Nothing in Cassie's life is what it appears to be. She's wickedly smart, tantalizingly cunning, and she's living a secret double life by night. But an unexpected encounter is about to give Cassie a chance to right the wrongs from the past. Consider subscribing if you like my videos, and drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on Promising Young Woman. First of all, I mean, this is a very star-studded cast. You have Carrie Mulligan, Bo Burnham, Jennifer Coolidge, Max Greenfield, Adam Brody, McLovin, you know, everybody's in this movie and I have to say I really enjoyed the chemistry between Carrie Mulligan and Bo Burnham's characters. There's one scene in particular, Stars Are Blind by Paris Hilton is playing and it was just a really great like moment and I think in general this film has such a great soundtrack. You got Charlie XCX, you got Donna Missile, there's a lot of female artists on this soundtrack that I think just really add to the environment that we are in in this film. I also really loved the cinematography and the costumes. I think that this has a very vibrant feel to it. It does have a little bit of that kind of like bubblegum quality in terms of just like the visuals, like things felt very bright and kind of effervescent. I think the story itself is not really what I was expecting. Um, I think that the synopsis is very vague so I kind of didn't really know what to expect going into this movie. It's frustrating, it's uncomfortable, and I think it will surprise you at every corner. We're really tackling these dark themes around revenge, the Me Too era, toxic masculinity, that boys will be boys mentality and the issues that still need to be fixed. And I think the third act in particular is going to be very divisive. As I kept thinking about it more and more and more, I was like, you know, the fact that they are able to kind of keep you guessing throughout this film, you know, I, I think that's a testament to the writing that, you know, they go in some unexpected places that I think will just keep you thinking about this movie long after you finish it. There was a couple of different reveals that happened that just like gutted me and I was like, ugh, I hate this. And so that by the end, I wouldn't say that this was a movie that I necessarily enjoyed watching but it was more compelling than anything else where like you kind of have to get to the end because you need to see like what's gonna happen and if anything will get better because you're just like ah my heart everything sucks I do want to mention though that you know as much as they had these big names in this film I felt like a lot of them were underused especially when it came to like Laverne Cox and Jennifer Coolidge you know if they took these characters out it wouldn't have even made a big difference to the story so I wish that they had done more in like just building the, the world and like why are you introducing these characters if they're not like gonna be really important to the story. I also felt like at times the story did drag a bit. We start off the film in a very jarring way and you know there continues to be like these ups and downs throughout the film um, but when I think about it it kind of feels like there's three distinct different stories happening that I think maybe they could have just blended together a little bit more seamlessly. There's also a character that we never see on screen but that's a big motivator that's basically you know the entire crux of this film and I think that it would have been beneficial to maybe do some flashbacks or something or just give us a little bit more because it kind of felt like there's so much at stake but for this character that we never actually get a chance to meet. This is definitely a film that's interesting to see how they juxtapose some of those bright costumes and set designs with just the really dark more serious topics that they end up tackling you know like this is a project that definitely tackles a lot of heavy themes. When it comes down to it, Promising Young Woman is a film that will make you angry, shocked, uncomfortable, and that will stick with you long after you finish it. If you guys like my movie reviews, you can check out more right over here, and I will catch you in my next video. See ya!